Hi there, Virgos. Welcome to your weekly reading. So let's get into your reading here. Um, I feel like the major focus for the next seven days um, deals heavily with um, cooperation, okay? I feel like you're, you have somebody in your midst that is a little bit difficult to uh, compromise with and to work with. I see the energy of somebody who is um, dragging their feet, like they're they're very slow to act. And um, I feel in the more extreme sense, they could be a little bit lazy. And then in a milder sense, they can just, you know, take their sweet time. They don't really do things with a lot of urgency. And so I see this image of a um, polar bear. And it's just sitting in one place and it's just, you know, snacking on the salmon and it's not really doing much. And I feel like you're nudging the bear. You're like, get going, get moving, do, do this, do that. And I feel like it, the person is just taking their sweet time. They don't do things with a big sense of urgency. Um, I feel like things around your home environment um, could be, you know, uh, not as clean, as orderly, and as organized as you, as you need it to be in order to function. And I feel like this is your office. This can also be your home environment. Um, I feel like somebody's leaving stuff out, dishes, dirty laundry, and they're not really um, pulling their weight or, or um, doing their deal due diligence to pick up after themselves and to you know chip in with the housework i also feel like there might be a lot of work from your end where the house chores and things like that is neglected and it's showing up greatly in this card here the empress she rules the home and she rules like a, a neat and orderly environment and this is pretty much, you know, owning your space, claiming your space and putting things away where they belong. And I feel like you're coming to a head, you're coming into conflict with another person that you might share space with. So if you're uh, co-parenting, you could also be, you know, sharing that space. If you're working with another person and you're sharing an office or if you're sharing a cubicle there could be a lot of invasion of your space noise violation um lack of orderliness and things like that and i also feel like you know you're doing your your part to really um take care of the home environment here with the queen of pentacles and the other person with the five of pentacles they're not really chipping in so there's like disputes and arguments about space about orderliness about cleanliness in the home front um, in your love relationships, what I feel though is um, there's a need to compromise, okay? There's a need to kind of like, I, I see a lot of discussions and talks with between you and your partner about big goals and big plans. Where are we going to live? Where are we going to buy property? When are we going to settle down? When are we going to, you know, start building a family? Um, so I see you and your partner talking a lot about plans, dreams, aspirations. If you're not in a committed relationship, I see you're getting to know somebody and you're finding out, you know, about their dreams, their their passion, their long-term goals and about where they're planning to to be, what they see themselves doing in about 5 years time, 3 years time. And I feel that the person that you're dealing with we have here a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is somebody who is, you know, a leader in their own right, okay? So this is somebody that leads the way, that takes charge, that takes a lot of initiative. When it's in the reverse position, it's somebody who might be going through some type of a inner conflict or some type of, uh, they're experiencing some type of um, blockage in their own life and they're questioning their sense of direction. They're questioning, you know, what are my skills? What am I really good at? What do I really want to do? I see this as somebody who is, um, who has a lot of ideas and I feel like they, they, they initiate or start a lot of things, start a lot of projects, start a lot of, um, get the ball rolling on many, many things, but they might have difficulties finishing them. So you're dealing with someone who's a little bit scattered, and I feel like unless 
they take the time to really figure out their strengths, their weaknesses, their passions, and the things that they don't want to do, it's going to be really hard for this person to arrive at a sense of direction when it comes to overall plans and how you fit into their, their life goals and how you fit as a relationship partner into their life trajectories. And if this is a partner already, I feel like, you know, they're having some type of a inner, like a mini, I would say a mini crisis where they're still trying to figure out, you know, things in their own lives. They're trying to wrap up one chapter of their lives. They're trying to uh, finish up something. For some of you, this could be the partner dealing with school. For others, it could be they're trying to get out of a divorce or they're trying to separate themselves from, you know, a situation like a an ex or finalizing some type of a divorce or separation with their ex-partner and then for others it's like they're trying to get published they're trying to get things moving in that direction um, just so that they can have that clarity and that certainty in their lives so that they can begin anew and so I feel like there are a lot of discussions about you know how we kind of fit together in each other's future plans. So there's a lot of compromise, there's a lot of discussions, and there's a lot of emphasis on building. Compromise is the key word here. So I definitely feel you've got somebody that you really care about, you wanna build with. They wanna build with you. They see a lot of potential in you and they're trying to make things work. For some of you, I also feel like uh, attraction and flirtation in the work environment and you're trying to keep things very professional mainly because there are other people around and I feel like you're being really smart about it because you know work for you you guys are like the workaholics of the zodiac and so work is always going to be on the front burner for you and even if you feel like the 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 attraction with a coworker, with a supervisor, with the boss, um, you're going to keep things, you know, professional either way. But I do see this element about you talking to somebody a lot about projects, a lot about work, a lot about dreams, aspirations in the work environment, uh, what you want to do f for the next three years, how you're planning to, I, I hear like professional development. So there are a lot of discussions about that between you and a crush in a work environment as well. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of energies here about family, okay, healing like family issues, letting go of resentment, and I want to say agreeing to disagree. So like don't beat a dead horse. If you've had conflict with a family member, I feel for some of you, you could be like a, a parent and this can be your children. Or you could be the child and there might be conflict with the parents. Um, I see one person constantly telling the other person what to do just like somebody um, giving advice or telling the other person what to do unsolicited and I feel like somebody patronizing another person and treating them like a child and not giving them the freedom to make their own mistakes and trying to steer them in 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 the in the direction that you want to go rather than in the direction that they want to go. So this can be you to a child or, or a parent to you. So I feel like a lot of that, there's like um, um, resentment. And I feel like when you meet up with this person, for the first 10 minutes, things can go really, really well. You know, hey, how are you? I've been thinking about you. What have you been up to? And then past that 15 minute mark, conflict starts to arise they would say something and you feel like it's a cri criticism or you feel like it's an um it's like a you feel like it's 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 kind of like them digging at you but i don't feel that it's it's meant to be that way i feel like they're just very concerned and so don't get too defensive uh hear what they have to say and just envision yourself. You know, a lot of the times when we deal with family members, uh, we have too much history with each other. And so we know how to push each other's buttons. And then we automatically are always on the offense, or on the defense with them because of the long history. And especially if it's it has been very contentious if the relationship has been very problematic and if there has been a lot of just resentment or misunderstandings, um, they can say something completely neutral and it just comes out, you know, 
with the tone or the attitude or the demeanor of some past situation that you've experienced with them that left a sour taste in your mouth. So it triggers feelings that might not be positive, but I feel like you want to give this person the benefit of the doubt and you want to just, you know, uh, approach them with an open hand that way and an open heart and an open mind that way you're not getting defensive or getting riled up over things that are over I want to say over imagined slights okay so I hope that makes sense um, the five of wands this is once again conflict and you know it's a person against a tree different species communicate differently and so I feel like there has been a lot of misunderstanding between you and a person and I feel like the distance you might live far away from them so you don't see them on a regular basis but when you see them it starts out fine for the first you know few minutes and then after that it just descends into chaos and there's um they're, they're trying to make amends, they're trying to do like a peace offering, they're trying to reach out just to communicate with you, just to see what you're up to, because they do care, and they're not looking for a fight, the tree is backing down, okay, so the person's not really looking for a fight, and so I feel that you should, you know, take what they say with a grain of salt, and um, let your guard down a little bit, and don't be defensive. I feel like the distance between the two of you and I also feel like this might be a family type of a contentious family relationship where you really really care about each other and the more you care the harder it is to be objective right and so let your walls down okay she's got her mask on she's listening to her um, intuition she's got the sword in front of her so she's kind of like got her walls up and so the, the uh, advice with this card is all about, you know, uh, listening to your higher self, uh, let go of the imagined slight, let go of the resentment, especially as it relates to, you know, dealing with family members. I'm also seeing as well, this is a, um, the next seven days is all about communication clearing up okay so clearing up of old energy clearing up of communication um, you're talking to another person about plans for travel and it is ho the holiday season here in the uh, US so I feel like there are a lot of travel arrangements a lot of plans being hashed hatched out between uh, people um, I'm going to come to see you when are you available and I see many of you are taking the time to see parents which is great uh, many of you are taking the time to host um, host family gatherings, even offering up your space so that uh, other people can come into your space. And I feel like in the spirit of opening up, opening up your space, opening up your home, opening up your heart, opening up your hands, I feel like it can be very conducive for healing and for, you know, breakthroughs in communication. And especially if you're dealing with somebody that has been very, very difficult to read and difficult to reach, I feel that it's going to work itself out and it's going to be resolved very wonderfully. Um, I'm also sensing here health issues when it comes to, um, I feel more of like a father figure. So reach out to your parents and, you know, catch up on what they're doing, see if there's anything wrong with them, see if there's anything that they need. I see a lot of people who, if your fathers are still around, there might be, it's like he's craving some attention. He's kind of like, hey, come see me, but he doesn't really want to express it. Okay, so it's like the, the stern paternal figure um, that doesn't really like to review his emotions and doesn't really talk about his emotions. And when he sees you, he might keep a poker face and he might not be able to express, wow, I'm really glad to see you. So I feel like you might want to, um, you know, maybe that message applies to a few of you, but it's important that you try to reach out and see if there's anything he needs, if there's anything that you can do. Um, the last thing that I'm com uh, I see coming into the picture here, we have here the page of coins. And um, this is a card about learning. So this is the Page of Pentacles. This is a card about acquiring new knowledge, learning, possibly even being in an environment where you're attending a lot of training seminars, where you are coming 
into contact with people who are really, really knowledgeable in their field. And they're kind of lighting a spark of inspiration from within you. So they're giving you ideas and snippets and inspiration. Um, and I feel like you have somebody in your midst that's very knowledgeable about, you know, whatever they're training you on. I feel a lot of it is about expansion. So it could be like, you know, career development. It could also be, um, it could also be like financial planning, taking control of your financial future, how to accumulate more money, how to invest. You're, you're doing some type of, um, a course you're doing some type of learning and I feel like whatever you're learning you're I see you with a group of people that you really get along with that you really enjoy their company and everyone is there to build something to learn something and to get something out of it to make the most of the situation and with this situation I feel like whatever you put in is what you're gonna get out so I feel like there are a lot of activities for group work. I also feel like you're going to take away, you're going to come away with it, uh, from it with a lot of knowledge and a lot of skills to help yourself professionally. Um, I also see this element here about being very, very, um, like stage fright is what I'm, I'm getting putting on a brave face even though you might be experiencing stage fright or social anxiety feeling like people around you have so much to offer and feeling like you might be lacking this is a typical virgo and trait feeling like you know you're not good enough feeling like you don't have enough to offer feeling like your voice doesn't matter and feeling like I don't know. I don't want to say it. I don't want to ask that question. What if people think, you know, I'm being silly? What if people think I'm stupid? What if people laugh at me? So there's a lot of um, like uh, social anxiety. If you're along with a big group of people and you're afraid to speak up, you're afraid to ask questions, don't be. Whatever question that you have, I'm pretty sure other people have the same questions. So it just takes one person to break the ice, okay? So I hope the reading has been helpful for you Virgos. Once again, I am very sorry that I am late with this reading. I hope it resonates and I'll see you guys in about, um, well, it, next week, next Wednesday. All right, take care.